Hi and welcome again to HSC 201 Health Promotion. This YouTube is going to outline assessment three requirements for you for semester one 2019. And what we're asking you to do in this assessment is an essay, very short essay and PowerPoint presentation investigating an existing health promotion program. It relates to your learning outcomes one, three, four and six. It's worth 40% of your overall mark and the word count is between 1,000 to 1,500 words, so we're fairly flexible there. It's due on week 12 Monday, so make sure you find out which day of the week exactly that is. <laughs> now, we've gone through, an, um, in the previous assessment too, you actually put together um, a very short health promotion strategy to get you thinking about target groups, key, mess key messages, um, and strategies, setting goals and aims and things like this. So what we're asking you to do in this particular assignment is now go out and critique someone else's or some other organization's um, health promotion project, okay, or program. So why is this particular assessment relevant? Well, as I've outlined here, health promotion is an exciting and innovative area to work. And as health professionals working in these areas, you have a great opportunity to have big impact on health disparities and risk factors for populations. And if we started to look around, and hopefully by now, at this point in the unit, you've had a really, you started to really look at the different types of health promotion and strat education strategies happening around you all the time in your community, okay? And you would have come across some very impressive programs and resources which have been delivered both nationally, okay, exposing people to really broad areas of health education on a frequent basis, such as the um, Heart Foundation television commercials. But there's also quite a lot of smaller programs out there which can also have real significant positive health outcomes for individuals and communities. So this assessment is asking you to research a smaller program in your local area um, and become familiar with the program focus. It's going to help you connect with a health issue in your community, okay, and become familiar with a health promotion strategy and be um, quite creative and um, with your content delivery. Okay, so in that last part of this why is this relevant, I guess what we're trying to say is it's not just about you becoming familiar with what's going on in your own community, that in your delivery of, of your um, breakdown of, of what's been happening, you're going to have to get quite creative, okay, in how you present this particular assignment. So this assignment criteria, we're asking you to prepare a 5 to 10 minute presentation in response to the following instructions, okay? And initially what you need to do is choose a health promotion program strategy um, resource from your regional area. So looking around your community, what's happening and find a health promotion strategy, okay? And um, choose one that you're interested in. It might be a topic that you're interested in. It might be something that you've seen around a lot and you want to find out a little bit more about. What we're then going to ask you to do is critique the program in a written document, okay? And present your critique on the PowerPoint, which is the five to 10 minute presentation. And in doing that, we want you to address the following core criteria, which is identifying the focus of the health promotion program. So who are they aiming at? Who's their target group, okay? Um, or what's the community that they're, um, they're aiming it at? Okay, and tell us what it's for, okay? What is it, it's not just who it's for, but what is it trying to, to do? Um, I want you to do some background again and, and outline why this public health promotion is beneficial for the target group, okay? What do you think of the history? If you, you might be able to do research and actually find this information presented, okay? So it might be presented in um, a local government document, it might be presented if you're doing something from the Heart Foundation or Cancer Council and so forth, um, you might be able to find it on their website. Otherwise, you might need to do a little bit of background history searching yourself um, and you present information you can find to support why it, um, it would be beneficial. So, um, Put together how you would anticipate that it's going to improve health, health outcomes for the chosen target group of community and include some data statistics to back it up. So as I said, this might be something that you find already presented um, or, or put a, um, 
you know, it might be part of the health promotion, so you can quote it or um, reference it in that way. Um, but also do a little bit of your own searching, okay, to back it up. Now we want you to critique the health promotion program in relation to its impact factor and effectiveness. So this is probably one of the, the best steps to do in this assignment. We're asking you to, do you think it's any good or not? Okay, why or why not? So present a critique, tell us why you think it's good or tell us why you think it's not. You know, pull it apart, okay, and um, show us what might be the strengths of it or what might it, could it have done better, do you think, to have a better impact uh, or get um, its message out in, in a much more effective manner. Okay, so in delivering, so that should all be outlined within your written paper, okay? And then you've got your five to 10 minute presentation. And we've asked you to put this on a PowerPoint. So you can then develop this into your audio file or a video presentation. So you might use YouTube like I have done with this presentation. This particular one YouTube that you're watching right now has been done using a YouTube and I've done some video recordings on my laptop um, and then I've added those video recordings to each slide. So I had to do a separate video recording for each slide. And then there's a little um, area where you can do your transitions, animations, design, so forth, insert, and you can insert a media file. So you just drag that file into your particular slide that you're talking about. Anyway, we'll give you some instructions, okay? Some of you might feel that you wanna have your PowerPoint on a screen behind you and do some filming with your camera and things like that. Okay, so you decide how you wanna present it. Movie Maker is a really good program out there to use, um, but if you wanna use something completely different or you've got a completely different idea, absolutely get in contact with me and we can talk about what your magnificent ideas are. So by this point of doing this assignment, you should have um, worked through all of the modules in the unit, okay? And um, again, you know, go to those other resources that we've, we've um, told you about before, such as the Bachelor of Health Science Library Guide, contact Lisa Ban, the Health Liaison Librarian, if you need. Review other websites, find some journal articles to back up your critiques and things like this. Um, identify the type of media source to capture your presentation for delivery. So as I'm saying before, you're going to do your PowerPoint with um, media insertion. Are you then going to make it into a YouTube? Are you going to present your PowerPoint just with um, the audio files attached? So I go through the PowerPoint and listen to each audio as I go through. Up to you to, to think about how creative you would like to get with this particular assessment, okay, and how you would like to deliver it. And um, as I've written there, if you're unsure of how to get started, just um, send me an email, give me a call, or we can have a, a discussion about it on the, um, on the dis unit coordinator discussion board, okay, and see what other ideas people might be coming up with. Just to go over the presentation, when you do submit this assessment, you should have a short paper which addresses those criteria that we've um, outlined so far. Um, and you should have your PowerPoint presentation with your audio embedded or your, off, your offline equivalent. So for example, your YouTube link or your other audio visual presentation. Now that needs to consist of an introductory slide and a reference slide and an ending slide. Okay, so we want um, a maximum of 10 slides in total. So that means seven content slides. So three slides, one for introduction, one for reference, one for an ending, and then seven more just to make up the content. Okay, all your sources should be referenced, including your imagery used for illustrative processes. Now, this get used to doing this, okay, because this is the way of copyright in the world now. And um, you really need to, particularly when you're out there working for professional organisations and so forth, there's a lot of free images you can use, um, but you do still need to put some sort of reference to show where you've sourced them and that they are, for example, in a Creative Commons area, so which means that they're, they're free for you to use in different areas. Um, so 
All files can be submitted together at the same time, but make sure you submit them separately, not in a zipped file, because if you zip file them most of the time, they don't actually then travel to the other side of Grade Center. That well makes it very hard to retrieve them. Now, I have set up the Grade Center so you can have more than one submission here. So it can take, you know, three or four documents and it will accept um, JPEGs and it will accept PowerPoints and things like this, okay? If you're going to, um, submit your presentation as a YouTube, what you might do is submit your paper, um, written paper, your PowerPoint and have a link um, on your PowerPoint that would take me to the YouTube so I can actually view it all there. Okay, um, make sure you number all your pages and number your slides as well and put your student details on there. I think I've already covered this really, so you can submit your assignment um, via the Safe Assignment link provided in Assessment 3 in LearnLine. There's a draft submission site for you to use, but it's not going to actually review PowerPoints very well, so don't worry about that. Um, make sure you submit each one individually, okay? So you can just get your whole assignment together, submit and then go back in and then submit again and then go back in and submit again, okay? however many. Um, you might have two documents, you might have three or four, that's okay. Um, I'll leave it up to you what works for whatever it is you have in mind for this particular assessment. So the rubric for this assessment, it's uh, the same format as I've used for the other couple of assessments in this unit. And again, we're asking you to prepare a written document which addresses the three core criteria and critiques your chosen health promotion, okay, and that's a a big chunk of your marks allocated to that and then pre prepares your PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so even if you do go ahead and do a YouTube, you still need to prepare and present that PowerPoint presentation as well. Okay, um, and we're going to be having a look at that to see how effectively you deliver your information on that, which and remembering that it, it's got to have that audio file with it. So you're telling me about it like I'm talking to you now. Okay, we're giving um, a 20% mark to your audiovisual presentation quality and it's important we felt to include this because we want you to actually think about, you know, uh, what you're doing and how you're presenting this so you don't just like slap together some PowerPoint without really thinking about what should be on each of those slides, okay, um, and how you're going to present it to us. And the last set of marks within your rubric are for your referencing and your written expression. I won't go over those again. You should um, be well aware of how that's all divided by the point assessment three in this particular unit. So if you're not sure how to get started, please contact me. Um, before you do that, have a look around your community first, okay? Get, find a health promotion that you're interested in as part of your assignment, okay? And then go through the criteria. Um, I have asked our education technologist to prepare a resource um, to help you, for some people, if you're a little bit stuck on how to put audio into PowerPoint and things like that, just to give you um, a little bit of a heads up on how to do that. But these types of skills are, are challenging, but they are really important for you to have when you're working in health. Um, it gives you an advantage of being able to go ahead and independently present and um, prepare your own resources and education sessions. And um, unfortunately, I think as we all know, we all have to be pretty tech savvy now. So it can be a bit challenging, but um, we will work with you if you are finding it extremely challenging. Okay, you just need to let us know. All right, we'll leave you to it to get started. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, what you all submit.